them some highlights right there how y'all doing on those i was gonna start on that side are you compensating for the bright lights canon so i've had this canon eos r for a couple weeks now and if i'm being honest with you the past week it's just been sitting on my table i just got sick of the image coming out of it i can't make it look good so we just reverted back to standard profile everything default because i i don't know what i'm doing i tweak shit bad things happen in a, both of our lives they're tonne how much tonne not enough but having this camera has taught me likely what the r5 is going to be what it's going to lack because i see it now i've had my hands on the cannon i've touched it in the places where it doesn't like right under there and i learned like machine learning ai like those birds hey buddy hey birdie i'm gonna go all i want is the perfect camera all i want is the perfect camera so one interesting thing i learned about the eos r is the dynamic range is actually worse than my g85 and i'll prove it later it's in my bag we'll do a little side by side stabilization versus dynamic range test but i don't mind that you expose pretty well for me it's just not a very pleasing clippy loser situation we have it's not terrible it actually looks pretty good what's happening right here what's going on zebras there are none in my opinion if you're designing a camera for the future a sensor in particular you go for the dynamic range and the colors and don't worry about the resolution and the high ISO performance and the speed of the autofocus. Your autofocus is good enough. I want pleasing whitey stuff that's not too black. That got racist real fast. I want glorious colors that are just like, oh my God, the accuracy. When I wear a red shirt, it shouldn't be orange to you. That's a lie. Imagine if I walked this way. Oh, the half shadow on my face. Is that flattering? Is this a good portrait? Oh, we just zoom into 35 mil. Portrait confirmed. You're a lunatic. You're a lunatic. You're a lunatic. I just haven't been that impressed with the Canon colors. We'll see what happens now in the standard profile outside. Everything where the camera's in control. Sometimes you need a man to just take control of your life. I need that. I need that. <laughs> Any men out there? The second thing I haven't been that impressed about is the detail of the Canon image. I couldn't believe how much sharper the GH5S looked. Both in 1080p, people got, oh God, how many comments did I get? Oh, there's a crop in 4K. <laughs> it was 1080p and then I upscaled them both to 4K. That is valid comparison activity. I get why people do it. The Canon look is kind of flattering to the face because there's not much detail in it. So every wrinkle disappears, every acne you got, who cares how many burritos you had the night before? They're gone, they're gone. All the slates wiped clean on a Canon camera. So we enjoy that. And yeah, if you're filming just your face, it's like Canon, not bad. Wow, look how healthy you are, it's no Samsung. Let's be real with ourselves. But in general, it's a pretty pleasing image, but God forbid you want to film a squirrel What's happening? There's dogs. There's dogs. There's a lot of conversations happening right now. You couldn't hear any of them with the lav mic, but I got flustered. Wow, I'm bad at my job. Now I know what I'm telling you may sound like an EOS R review, but we can kind of expect these things in the R5. Maybe the detail's not quite as good as most of the competition. Maybe the other thing I mentioned before the detail that I remember for sure was also not as good. It's a lot louder here than I expected. Wow, let me tone it down for you. Let me tone it down so you can appreciate the beauty. Oh my God, Tony 8. Oh, the glory. How many people have the virus out there? At least 12, at least 12. to handle that i'm expecting not a lot of great things from canon i don't know why everybody bigs up the canon menu system c logs on a page that doesn't even make sense why isn't that a picture profile in with the rest of them it's a it's whole separate entity an alien inside working against its whole being that's a parasite 
Sea log is a parasite. The fact that you can't auto ISO or aperture priority, even in sea log, they work against you. It's almost as if there was a hammer in that factory just running rampage on. Look, I've had enough of your shit. Mother, the real question here is, is it even as good as the G85 that could, that was released in 2001? Is it even? Let's find out. All right, we got to zoom in a little bit on the cannon to match it. All right. Cannon on my left, G85 on my right. Opposite for you, of course. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I felt those steps. So first, let's do a back lit lover's quarrel. Sun, let's have them both in the shadow of safety. I can't see a damn thing on my dirty GH G85 screen. Who handles it? And then the transition. Who has more dynamic range? Be honest with yourself. I'm trying to be fair. The sun is that way. So let's do a full, full pan around. Panning ramming your mom right now. I've done it. I'll do it again. This thing is so much lighter too. And there's more tone. This F2, I stop it down sometimes. Hammer time drop upon us okay stabilization this is what i wanted to see we're on digital and lens right now on the canon and this is just ibis how we doing and then i'm gonna switch to enhanced because that was the life hack it's such a crop though i gotta zoom back out what are we at here almost 24 mil but the g85 is farther away ruining the test completely Okay, digital enhanced coming. Okay, enhanced is on. We're way back out at 15 mils now, but with the crop, it's like a 30. It's a double crop. So it's a micro four third size sensor now, and it's much heavier, same result. F2.8, but with the crop, Tony 2.6, that's a lie. F5.6, Tony 6.4, 5.21, Tony, help. Honestly, I've been talking shit about the Canon Enhanced Stabilization because from all the tests I've seen, it looks the same as the regular Stabe, only just more cropped. Like, it doesn't do any extra performance, but actually it does. It actually does. It's really smooth, except, ow, when you pan. That's its only flaw, its major flaw, and I'll show you in a second, just as we glorify ourselves with the G85 and appreciate its beauty doesn't get much better than that we're at minus one EV because usually Panasonic clips my ass we're not doing it today not today so all right watch this regular we're cool you start doing that shit at least from what I've seen maybe it's not doing it now maybe they're both doing it for all we know that's so heavy <laughs> This is why I don't like doing the double test with the full frame. Oh my God, I'm one shoulder. But like, are you seeing it? The skippy shit? Whereas on the G85, you would never do that. You do it, actually. I've seen it. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, actually. This hurts my face. As a bonus test, nobody saw this one coming. We got the GH5S on the right with the best stabilization this world has ever known. First, the G. God damn it. Oh, the Canon G. GOSR. We've got the autofocus on. Uh, are we seeing the dynamic range that I think we should be seeing? With the G? G Funk. How we doing on that? It's the autofocus keeping up with it. There's just something so much more pleasing about the GH5S. The highlight dignity. What's that? Birds. Hey birds. Could I vlog with this? No stabilization whatsoever? 
Is this the best vlog ever? 21.4. We blared the background. Even though you wanted to see it. It's more stable than a Sony camera, isn't it? That's bullshit. No, it can't be. It could be. Is this good content? How long ago did it stop being good content? Four minutes? Okay. I see this yellow house and that tree, and I'm thinking, there's a photographer. That was my best <laughs> try at saying photography. There's a yellow house and a tree, and I, I know there's a photographic opportunity here somewhere. But now that I have a full frame camera, that challenge is not even hard at all. So I'm gonna take the best picture anybody's ever known. I just photographed so hard. A police officer came up to me, said, what are you doing here? I had to pretend that I had the virus. Don't say it, don't mention its name. And he let me go with a beating. That's how hard I just photographed. All I can say is Canon has their hands full trying to win back our trust after all the just weird cripplings, like the removing 24P and just all the stuff that Ah, and it's still in here. I think they're distracting us with the fact that it can do 8K, which is probably going to be like rolling shutter heaven for all you wobbly Gumby motherfuckers. Are we handling that? You get there. You get there. It looks cooler now. Is that because you know I'm in the cool shadows? Canon intelligence. Wow. But Canon's the leader of all photographic companies. They should be the best, but they haven't been for the last, like, seven years. So we're hoping that they finally, they've been researching in a dungeon, and now they're going to bring out everything they learned from the dwarf people. And if they do, look out for us. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. I often change my mind. As I'm making a video talking shit about something, and then I get the results back, and I'm like, oh, look at that beauty. <laughs> so we'll see what it looked like today in standard profile, but... From what I've seen, Canon's still far behind. So we'll see if the R5 and R6, especially that R6, although 6D generation levels, those were embarrassing cameras. Softer than this, a lot softer. The RP, throw it under a car. Maybe you can do a trick and make it into America's Funniest Home Videos. So I'm gonna leave, what do you think? Are you disappointed already in the R5 and R6? Even though we don't know any of the features. And don't listen to the spec sheet. We got to get it in our hands and see what's the highlight dignity like. Shadow retention philosophy. Harry Potter's school of magic. Is it in there? We'll find out. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.